guess it was in pink again, but it's like a lighter shade of pink. Not that I would ever admit it, but this is actually my sleeping clothes. <laughs> I was too lazy to dress up, so what you'll see is what you get. <laughs> Okay, so today I will be talking to you guys about My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Oh my god, I cannot even express to you guys how madly in love I am with this book. It goes on the standard with Anna and the French Kiss. And that's how much I absolutely loved and adored this beautifully written, fantastic, amazing the story of a book so good and this book rant will be full of fantastic spoilers so if you have not read the book leave please i beg of you leave and then come back when you have read the book so i'm going to leave right now and when i come back you guys have better read the book okay <gasps> And I'm back. So if you have not read the book, enter at your own discretion. First things first, my favorite character is George. Oh, George is just so... I can't even put him into words. He is like the best character out of this book. And I say that with like, I mean it. <laughs> as much as I love Sam and Jace, George will always hold a special place in my heart. He's so adorable, like when he asked Sam, will you marry me? Because she really just hits it off with him. Like she understands what makes him tick and she understands the things she's not supposed to say in front of him because he's just super, super sensitive and he kind of has a fascination with death and he's only four years old. He's only four years old, but he talks so intelligently in this book. I love it. It might seem a little bit unrealistic, but it's just, it's so great. <laughs> and then one of the cute things he said was, are you gonna marry Jace? He says this to Sam and he's like, his bed is really comfortable. He never pees on it. <sighs> oh, George. One of the things that really, really made me laugh was when he they were talking about bacon and how much he liked bacon. And he was like, what's bacon made out of? And then he starts crying. He's like, Wilbur? Oh my gosh, I love this kid. He's so amazing. They assure him that Wilbur has not been killed and made into bacon. One of the sad things though, and I'm gonna get right to the end of the story, is that one of the things that Sam said was, George is so fascinated with death and he has all these like almost impossible scenarios played out in his head, but the one scenario he never imagined was his dad getting into a car accident and possibly dying. So that was kind of heart wrenching for me to read because like this poor little four year old boy doesn't know what to do. His dad is in the hospital, but Siri, sad. I also am in love with Patsy. Although her only words were boob and poop, she was still very cute. She was, I don't know, like a lot younger version of George, what I feel like George would have been like at that age, but they're very, so adorable. Like I haven't read children like them ever in a story. So it makes me like love this book just so much. I'm seeing a trend here. So Sam's mom is annoying and so is Ellie's mom from this is what happy looks like. Both of them are just <clears throat> parents, right? Can't live with them, can't live without them. But sh her mom is running for senator and she's kind of let this guy named Clay Tucker walk all over her. She follows his every whim. So annoying. Oh my gosh. And then when Jace and Sam kiss for the first time, I think they were swimming and she was like, you have to kiss me. And he's like, yeah, I do. And then they kiss. And it was so magical. It was just, ooh, Jace Garrett, man, you are hot. <laughs> One of the things I really, really liked about this book is that they didn't get together right away. There were so many instances where they could have gotten together, but they didn't. And it wasn't until that moment when they did kiss that it was like sealed. So I like that because a lot like This Is What Happy Looks Like and also Anne and the French Kiss, there was this friendship that built up into like best friend status before they actually decided to make relationship out of it which is great because I think friendship is a solid foundation before moving on into a relationship so their sex scene was pretty darn awesome I have to say one of the best scenes I've ever read other than the sex scene in The Fault in Our Stars which was also just as heartwarming and cute and okay there is this quote okay let me find it so this is the scene where they're just about to have sex and she's like then his body is moving over me and mine is opening to welcome him. She is opening to welcome him. <laughs> I read that and I was like, I see what you did there, Fitzpatrick. Nice play on words. I liked it. I really, really did. It was like the subtle euphemism way of saying it went in. 
I applaud you. <laughs> One of the things that I also really, really liked was Tim was a train wreck and he did a lot of drugs and he drank alcohol and everything. And when George said to him, I don't want you to die, and he like relates it to Jace's hamster. He's like, I saw Jace's hamster die and I don't want you to die too. And I was like, oh, Georgie. <laughs> so, so adorable. I can't. I can't. I love, 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 love Tim. I hated him in the beginning. I will honestly tell you that I hated Tim. I just thought he was so self-absorbed. He didn't think about anyone other than himself. He was way into drugs. He was wasting away his life. And in the end, I liked him way better than I liked his twin sister, Nan, which was also supposed to be Sam's best friend. Now, Nan, she is jealous bitch. Thinks the whole world revolves around her. She gets mad at Sam because everything goes well and right for Sam. Nan needed to get over herself. I'm actually kind of really glad there wasn't really any closure with her by the end of the book. She just kind of disappeared off the face of the planet and I was happy that she did. She wasn't important to me. I felt like she was just weighing Sam down. She deserved to be booted out of the story. I also like how every Garrett has his or her own personal unique personality. So no one gets lost in the crowd. You can tell who is who. They all kind of have their own little quirks that make them tick. Okay, what really bugged me was when Sam knew that her mom was the reason why Mr. Garrett got into an accident. I wanted her to tell Jace right away, like as soon as she even heard Shore Road, but she didn't and she hid it from him. And I just knew, I was like, this is going to drive a stake between your relationship and you need to tell him right now. I don't care what your mom says, I don't care what Clay says, just do it. And I'm glad that Tim was the one that she told about all of her problems because you would think that it was Nan. But the truth was, it says it in the book, was that Sam and Tim were actually a lot closer back in their childhood. And then for some reason, like, Tim became a jerk and then she slowly, like, became friends with Nan. But from the very beginning, it was Sam and Tim. So I thought it was very fitting that Tim was the one who helped her with all of her problems. Okay, one of the things I thought was really funny was when back when they were younger apparently like Sam had gotten stung by a jellyfish and Tim had heard from somewhere that you can save someone who's been stung by a jellyfish by peeing on them and <laughs> so they wouldn't let him pee on her and he's like but ma I have the power to save her with my pee <laughs> I thought that was a really cute like childhood story. Apparently there is going to be a spin-off for this story and it's going to be about Alice and Tim. Alice is Jace's sister. She's the eldest sister out of the whole family and I can't wait to see how that turns out. Another thing I would really wish for Huntley Fitzpatrick to do, I would love it so much if there was like a spin-off version about George and how he's all grown up now but he's still fascinated with death. I want to see his childish personality turn into someone that's like a teenager and I want to see like what he's like if he's still gonna be like quirky and oh man I would love to read a story about George oh, I can just imagine it in my head he would be so cute so overall this book was fantastic it was great I love it just as much as I love Anna and the French Kiss and my favorite quote from the story is the Garrett's were my bedtime story long before I ever thought I'd be part of the story myself so yeah I hope you guys like this book rant if you guys enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think if you have read the book and some thoughts you have on some of the things that i said especially about that george spin-off story as a teenager let's get that to huntley fitzpatrick let's get it done people so yeah also subscribe to me and i will see you guys in my next book rant book talk probably gonna be a book rant okay i'll see you guys next time I'm back. Just kidding. <laughs>